At the APEC CEO summit in Gyeongju last week, NVIDIA pledged 260,000 GPUs for South Korea. So what are the implications of this investment for the country? Our business correspondent Park Chun-han takes a look. With the supply of 260,000 NVIDIA GPUs, South Korea has the capacity to become one of the world's top three AI countries. This is what Presidential Senior Secretary for AI and Future Planning Ha jong woo said last Friday, the day the government and industrial giants announced a GPU supply deal with the world's most advanced chipmaker. Although it might seem impressive to hold hundreds of thousands of GPUs, it's natural to wonder what this number actually signifies and what they will be used for. Artificial intelligence, from large language models to physical AI, demands tremendous computing power for training, which is why the NVIDIA GPUs will play a critical role. With 260,000 secured, South Korea now ranks among the global top three, positioning us not just to build AI models, but to develop core AI technologies that drive innovation across industries. A professor here also claims that early access to chips from NVIDIA, which dominates 90 percent of the advanced semiconductor market, marks a significant milestone positioning South Korea to gain a competitive edge. Since NVIDIA holds nearly 90 percent of the global GPU market, high-performance GPUs, essential for advanced physical robots, can realistically only be sourced from NVIDIA. With tens of thousands of GPUs operating like supercomputers, data centers are being built to support large-scale AI training. As more of these systems are established, we expect South Korea's AI ecosystem to grow exponentially. Securing high-performance GPUs is certainly encouraging, but how they are used, for what purposes, and how effectively they are allocated may prove just as crucial as obtaining the chips themselves. This will be a key factor shaping South Korea's future with AI. Park Junan, Arirang News.